Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is part 10 in my series on utilizing Blender as a video editor. Today we're going to do some directing with Multicam Selector. This will allow us to sit in the director's booth and switch between video streams. Sounds really fun, doesn't it? Well, let's get right to it. First thing, I have to import my media files. So I'm going to get them now. And I already know what frame to place them on. Okay, now you can see that we actually have two media files. Let me actually pull this one up to the separate channel. There we go. We have uh, this channel, this camera, with this audio track, and this camera here with an audio track as well. Now you're only seeing the one that is on the highest layer, layer number four, but what we want to do is we want to be able to see both of these tracks at the same time, and then we also want to be able to see the output track that will show how the directing looks. So what we need to do is we need to grab this little thing up here. If you go up to your right corner, you see these lines that are almost like a shape of a triangle. They create a crosshair. You can actually left click on there and pull, and it will make a replica of whatever that frame is. And we need three, so we're going to get another one. We're going to pull another one out. Now, we need the space, so we're going to push this over. We don't need to see the properties right now. And we're going to pull these and give them a little bit more space. There we go. Nice. So now we want to set we want to set this one to one of the cameras, this one to the other camera, and this one to the output. How do we do that? We just select the channel that they're on, and that will let us view that channel. So we know that we want to see channel 1 here, so we're going to select channel 1, and there's channel 1, and we know that this video is actually on channel 4, so we're going to go to channel 4, and then before I can actually set this to the director mode that shows the output of switching cameras, I have to first go down to add effect strip and select multi-cam selector. Okay, so I'm going to stretch this out, I'm going to grab the arrow and I'm going to stretch it to frame one on this side. There we go. And let's zoom out with our mouse. And I'm going to stretch this other arrow all the way to the end at frame. Well, that's good enough right there. So I'm going to move this over here so we can see. Now let's do a little bit of directing. First thing first. Let's see how this looks. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but I actually have a brother. Uh, why don't I just uh, let him introduce himself to you? Hey, my name's Rob. I was born in Boston. Boston, Mass. That's right. Not right. Yeah, there's my brother over here. Yeah. Yeah, he was, uh, he was raised by... Uh, why are you making things up? Here. This, is, you know? this is ridiculous. Why are you so, making things up? Uh, this is, I'm not going to sit here and listen Whatever, to you make things up. Let me finish what I'm trying to say here. Shut up for a second, okay? Thank you. So there you go. You can see each of the feeds. Now I want to actually create a directed output feed here. So we're just going to select the channel of the multicam. So that is on channel 5. So let's go up to 5. And you see nothing because nothing has been, no camera has been selected. We have to select either camera 4 or camera 1 because that those are the actual layers that actually have our video feeds. So let's right click on cam, multi-cam, now that we have it set up over up here. And we're going to scroll down to the properties and you're going to see this feature right here that is for selecting and cutting to each of the cameras. So I want to I want to see myself here until I get to the feed that has Robert on it. Robbie. So I'm going to make my first cut on, it will actually show from, let's see, we'll make it from frame one. Let's put it on frame one, just type it in. We're going to cut to layer four. So there we go. So it's going to be showing layer four. Then we're going to go ahead until we get to Robbie. There we go. That's where Robbie starts. And we're going to cut to his frame by selecting 
one. There we go. Now, I want to cut in and show my facial reactions as he's talking. So we'll try to do this as nicely as possible. I'm going to cut to four here. And I'm going to cut back to one. And there you go. So now let's actually let's cut back to four here. There we go. So let's see what this looks like. We're going to watch this frame over here to see how it got how it was directed. And there we go. That's how you do multicam.